Welcome back, Whiskey Lung here. Today we're diving into some important and emotional topics from the NHL and KHL. From contract drama to health scares to player updates, we've got a lot of cover, so let's talk about it. Go on some smoked meat, Frankie. I'm going to be in your kitchen all night. First up, let's talk about Jeremy Swayman. Fans are eager to see how the team plans to lock him down for the future. Swayman has shown incredible potential. But with the salary cap crunch, will the Bruins find a way to secure him without compromising the rest of the roster? I reported on this a while ago. Uh, I can't help but feel a little bit like the Bruins brought this on themselves. As you know, they got rid of all Mark because Swayman was ready for the big show, right? Well, now with negotiations flying, Swayman is rightfully trying to get what he's worth. I guess this must have been a shock to Bruins management. But earlier today, Courtney Cox, not that Courtney Cox, from the Greg Hill Show spilled some bad information about the Bruins and Swayman inking a deal. The news was quickly debunked by Joe Haggerty on Twitter and Paul Biznasty Biznet poked his own fun at the whole situation. Well, I will tell you, you know, I, I'm not, I don't listen to podcasts. As I said, my son loves, you know, loves Biz, thinks he's fabulous. I think he's a great entertainer, okay? But at the end of the day, they're inaccurate. And that's okay, because that's all part of the business nowadays. It's okay if you turn around and say it's your opinion or your belief and such, but don't report it as fact. You know, I laugh because my son loves the, the you know, the uh, spit up on yourself uh, podcast. And uh, he... Um... What are your thoughts about this? Should the Bruins just give Swayman what he wants? Let me know in the comments. Next, we have some more serious news about Dakota Joshua. He announced today that he had been diagnosed with testicular cancer. This is tough news to hear from any guy. Obviously, my thoughts are with him during this difficult time, but he did elaborate and say that the doctors were able to remove the tumor. Here's the statement from Joshua. This summer, I felt a lump on one of my testicles that doctors would later diagnose as testicular cancer. This news was obviously scary to hear, but thankfully doctors were able to successfully remove the tumor. The last several weeks have been extremely challenging, and I've been fortunate to have the support of my family, friends, teammates, and doctors. Unfortunately, I will not be ready for the start of training camp as I continue to heal from surgery. I plan on returning to play as soon as possible this season, and I'm working hard every day to rejoin my teammates. Although it was very difficult to face the reality of the specific type of cancer, getting checked by a doctor quickly was the best approach, and I encourage men to get checked regularly for testicular cancer. As I continue with my recovery, I thank everyone in advance for respecting my privacy concerning this matter. The team will provide updates as appropriate. In the meantime, I thank everyone for their support and understanding. So yeah, it's just a reminder for us guys to take our health seriously. Remember to check yourself for any unusual lumps or changes. Early detection is key and it can make a huge difference. Okay, in lighter news, Nick Foligno has been named the captain of the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, this is a big honor for him and speaks to his leadership qualities both on and off the ice. Foligno brings a wealth of experience and grit. He's been a captain before and fans are excited to see how he will guide the younger players on the team, of course. I think that the narrative uh, that a lot of the analysts and armchair analysts were saying is that Bedard deserved the captaincy. It would be good for the franchise and others of the same elite player talent had also kind of inherited the role in the same way. So they felt it was suitable. I was from the opinion that why rush it? He can have a couple of years under a veteran's watch and learn from Feligno. I, I mean, it takes some pressure off of Bedard as he adjusts and lets him focus on his own game. It's not perfect. I, I just thought this was a smart move in my opinion. But what do you think about this move? Do you think Bedard should have been given the captaincy? So sticking with the captaincy theme here, Victor Hedman was officially named the captain of the Tampa Bay Lightning. As a veteran with multiple accolades, Hedman's leadership will be crucial as the team looks to rebuild on their previous successes. I think they're still gonna miss Stamkos, but I really don't know what Jake Gensel is gonna bring to the team. He might be a good fit for Tampa. And I think Hedman was the only choice for Tampa. Sorry to say I'm not rooting for Tampa this year. I hope the team falls apart. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'd like to see Nashville do a lot better than Tampa this year. And finally, we need to address a concerning incident involving Gleb Kuzman. The 27-year-old KHL Salavat Yuya Vufa forward suffered a serious injury after going into the boards headfirst and was stretchered off the ice. Initial reports indicate that he has a compression fracture to his spine. 
Ой-ой-ой-ой-ой-ой-ой-ой. Надо останавливать игру. Немедленно это и делают судьи. Причем, да, он так потерял равновесие и... На всем ходу, да? Шлемом, да, в, в борт врезался. Причем, как бы, ну, обычно там есть возможность выставить руки в, вперед. Тишина в, в глухе, по дворце. Потому что тоже все прекрасно понимают. Обычно есть возможность хоть как-то защититься там. А здесь после столкновения с Гипсом... Да, не успел ни руку выставить, ничего. Вот на всем ходу головой и вошел в борт Глеб Кузьмин. Ну, здоровье. Пока остается на площадке. Ability to, to return to play. My thoughts are with Gleb as he begins his recovery. It's a stark reminder of the risks that players face every time they step onto the ice. This is a dangerous sport. Let's hope for a speedy and full recovery. That's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for the support recently. Uh, I've seen a lot of really good stuff uh, in the comments, a lot of likes, uh, getting a lot of engagement on my channel. I love it. Thank you so much again. Um, if you aren't already a Whiskey Fiend, I'd love if you would subscribe, like the video. It helps me with search results. And as always, I'll see you down below in the comments.